going to do is the boat ramp. As you'll see, the boat ramp is going to extend off. We've got courtesy docks, we've got the concrete and riprack next to it. Next thing we're going to focus in on is the side imaging unit and see how it actually displays this. And if we watch the side imaging unit, we're actually going to start coming up on the boat ramp right there. If you look right here on the left hand side, we've got the riprap started. We've actually got a boat laying at the end of this boat ramp that you can see on the side imaging unit. And there is all the concrete pad and everything on the left hand side and the riprap around it. This is going to help you understand side imaging much easier. the video on the trans on the uh, screen here uh, we're going to test the transducer against the bridge piling to show um, where we are in relationship to them as you can see the 2d is showing the bridge piling and the side imaging is showing the bridge piling right now how to set up your unit uh, to get it leveled correctly uh, it's not real particular but the big thing is, is having that unit as close to horizontal as possible with the way your boat sets in the water. Um, that'll tell us two things. That'll tell us uh, that we're level, plus you're going to have all your structure leaning exactly correctly. Here's our next bridge piling here. And we're going to go into the unit. Um, there was our first scan where we showed it with 2D. And if you look, I'm going to stay just off the bridge pilings just a little bit. We're going to go, we're going to parallel them. You can see the first bridge piling showing up there. We have a bridge piling showing up. We've got a drop off on the left hand side. We're going to use the 2D and SI comparison to give you a lot better feel for exactly what is happening on the screen. This is one of the recommendations when you first get a side imaging unit, what you need to do with it. We're, today we're running the Humminbird 1197. Uh, we're running with the 283 kilohertz on the 2D side. As you can tell and we're running the 455 kilohertz. There was a bridge piling, and see how nice and straight it shows up? It, it's leaning towards the middle of the screen because the top of the, the bridge piling is closer to the boat it is, is going to be closer to the center line of the boat, so it's going to lean slightly towards the center line, but you don't want it to lean towards the top or the bottom. There we just went by another bridge piling. Bridge pilings, because they're nice and hard, are going to give you a real hard white return. Show you this bridge piling coming up here that everybody can see. We are going by it exactly right now. Now it takes a little bit for the Humminbird side imaging to display the bridge piling. Now you can see on the 2D side right here was that bridge piling. Here was the bridge piling we just passed. When you want to start up a Humminbird side imaging unit is to go fish riprap. This will be an excellent spot. We'll be able to show you riprap and this bridge piling as we parallel it and I'll be able to show you every rock that's in that riprap. Uh, we're here on Truman Lake. This is the Long Shoal Bridge, so if anybody's in this area, they can come scan the exact same thing and get the exact same return. If we look at our side imaging unit, we have first we, thing we see real quickly is a nice big brush pile. We have stopped the unit. The side imaging unit has started its, its cycle. That's where you're going to see this black line. When you run across the lake and you have the two transducers set up, the, the side imaging transducer will be out of the water with the 2D sonar being the only one firing through the hole. So when you stop, the boat settles down, the side imaging automatically starts functioning again because it has clear unturbulated water. As you see, we're coming along, there's a little ditch, which was this little ditch right here. 
there's our riprap starting and if we look at our screen we're going to see that riprap start showing up there on the top right and it's actually extending over on the left hand side so if I wanted to uh, get an exact end of that riprap I could start moving over here to the left hand side and getting that you can see all the nice evenness of those rocks down there underneath this is one of the reasons we want you to test is to learn how that unit starts displaying the data um, you can see that this the 2D sonar in contrast with this uh, the much more detail the much more information you can actually see that bridge piling that we just went past right there it did not show up in 2D it was over we're scanning a hundred foot right and left and there's the end of our riprap and there's the end of it right there